Hi guys, welcome ulit sa YouTube channel natin. Now today, uh, part 3 na tayo sa attention members. Now let's try to discuss yung staggered fasteners. Now sa staggered fasteners actually similar lang, same pa din yung gagamitin natin sa last uh, example natin. Ito ay itong nasa NCP 2015 504.2. Again, meron pa rin tayong dalawang anong tawag Dalawang limit states. We have the yielding at saka yung rupture. Now, yung staggered fasteners will only affect sa rupture. Bakit? Nang formula para sa nominal stress sa rupture is actually F sub U times A sub E. Okay? Na ang A sub E, alam natin, this is equal to U, yung, sta yung uh, shear lag factor multiplied by area net. Now, saan dyan yung staggered fasteners? Actually, yung area net. Okay? Now, to compute for area net, nakita natin to sa previous notes natin. Okay? Now, pag merong staggered fasteners, we, we need to add, okay? We need to add another term, okay? Now, normally, ang area net, pag walang staggered fasteners, but uh, automatic lang, no? Kunin lang natin yung thickness multiplied by the width minus yung uh, an area ng bolts or the number of bolts. Okay, but this time, for example, ganito, pag merong staggered, okay? Pag meron tayong diagonal rupture, pag ganyan, okay? We need to add an additional term, ito, S squared over 4G, for every diagonal na nandun sa mm, nandun sa uh, rupture natin. Okay? So, I think mas madali to if ever meron tayong example. So, proceed tayo agad sa example natin. Yeah. Okay? So, example 1. A36 steel daw is used for this tension member. Okay? Now, question 1. Determine daw the nominal strength based on gross area. Na walang problema. Napakadali lang letter A. Ang letter B yung medyo mahirap based on the net area. Okay? So, yung bolts natin. 3 fourth inch diameter yung bolts. Okay, let's try to solve. Okay, yan. So, again guys, ang gagamitin ko muna itong MATCAD para sa solution. Anyway, you can easily use your calculators. Walang problema. Okay, so, uh, sana yun. Okay, so ito yung problem. So, uh, given muna tayo. Okay. So, yung given natin? A36 steel. Ano ba yung A36 steel natin dyan? Okay, pag A36 ha, yung F sub Y is equal to 36 and then F sub U is 58. Okay, so F sub Y is equal to 36 KSI. Okay, tapos yung F sub U natin is equal to 58 KSI. Okay, so salutan natin. So sa letter A, uh, napakadali, no? PN. P sub N simply equal to uh, F sub Y multiplied by the gross area. So that is actually equal to 36 multiplied by the gross area. Now, walang problema. We can easily solve the gross area using the dimensions of the rectangular plate. So 5 over 8 by 12. Okay, 5 over 8 by 12. So again, you can use your calculator. Okay. So that's 270. So ito na yun. Ito na yung answer sa letter A. 270 kips. Now, let's proceed sa letter B. Now, ito yung medyo mahirap yung letter B. Now, sa letter B, uh, same pa din. Nominal strength ang inahanap, but this time, net area. Okay? So, ang formula, this is actually uh, rupture na to. Uy, sorry. So, ano yung formula natin? P sub N is equal to F sub U multiplied by A sub E. Again, Sa problem natin, walang problema. Ang U or yung shear lag factor is equal to 1. Okay? Since hindi naman to angle. Okay? Tapos, let's just assume, since hindi man sinabi sa problem na, uh, yung whole section ang subjected to tension. Okay? So, I think proceed na tayo. Uh, solve natin yung uh, area net. Now, to solve for the area net, pina, uh, nandito na. Okay? Ito yung mga possible na rupture. Okay? So, tingnan nyo, pwedeng paganoon. Okay? Pwedeng... Pag ganito, okay, now, maraming possible dyan na, pwede yung pag ganyan, okay, pwede yung pag ganito, okay. So, uh, meron pa isa, pwede yung pag ganito, okay. So, ang gagawin natin is actually to solve individually yung mga possible area net dyan, tapos we will compare, okay. Tapos, let's try to choose yung pinakamaliit, okay. Bakit pinakamaliit, sir? Kasi mas maliit, mas county yung uh, strength niya, meaning we are on the safer side, okay. So, I think walang problema, Area net is simply equal to ano yan, uh, 5 over 8 okay, times yung 
with. This time, ang with, since ito yung rupture, okay, that is actually 12, minus the number of holes, okay? Now, by the way, ano yung hole dimension natin dito? Hindi ko na ilagay. Ilagay na muna natin dito yung dimension ng hole sa given. So, ang dimension ng hole actually is equal to, ano yan, 3 fourth inch. Now, actually, dimension yan ng diameter ng bolts. But, we need to add 1 over 8. Sir, bakit 1 over 8? Yan nga, uh, ulitin ko. Nandito yun sa code natin. Okay? So, to solve for the diameter of the hole, add ka ng 1 over 16 sa nominal dimension ng hole. Pero sir, bakit 1 over 8 yung inad mo? Yung given is diameter ng bolt. Okay? Dito, we need to add nominal dimension ng hole. Now, to solve for the nominal dimension ng hole, you still need to add another 1 over 16 to the uh, diameter of the bolt. So, automatic, that's 1 over 16 plus 1 over 16. That is actually 1 over 8. Okay? So, eh, asa na yan? Yan. Okay? So, this is actually equal to I think, ano to? Uh, 0.875. This is actually, I think, 7 over 8. Anyway, that is 0.875. Okay? So, yun lang. I-add lang, uh, i-subtract lang natin dito. So, that is, dalawang 0.875. But, meron ba tayong S squared over 4G dito? Wala. Bakit wala? Wala tayong diagonal na rupture. Assuming ito yung rupture natin. Okay? So, add lang. So, we can actually get our area. That is 6.406. Okay? 6.406. Let's proceed sa letter B. Ito. I mean, sa next possible rupture. Na pwedeng mag-rupture din na pag ganito. Okay? So, walang problema. Same pa din. AN natin is equal to ano yan? 5 over 8. Okay? Times, ano yun? 12 minus ilang holes ang dinaanan is sa dalawa, tatlo. So, meaning 3 times uh, ano yun? 0.875 Okay? But, huwag niyong kalimutan. We need to add. Ano yung i-add natin? S squared over 4G. Okay? We need to add S squared over 4G. Okay? So, ano yung S natin dito? Horizontal? Ay, sorry. Yan. Horizontal distance. By the way, ang S at saka 4G, nandito yan ha, sa notes natin. Yan o. No? Okay? Yung S is the horizontal distance. G is the vertical distance between the holes. Okay? So, S natin dito is actually uh, 5. 5 squared. Over 4 times. Ang G natin is actually 4. But notice na since dalawa yung diagonal natin at saka equal lang din naman yung mga dimensions nila, i-multiply na lang natin by 2. So, automatic, meron na tayong area net dito. Okay? So, area net is 7.813. Okay? Now, next is ito. Now, to solve for the area net dito, same pa rin, walang problema, area net is equal to 5 over 8. Multiplied by 12 minus, ilan ang hole na dinaanan? Sa dalawa, tatlo. So, 3 times 0 0.875. Again, don't forget to add yung diagonals. The diagonals is actually equal to, uh, dalawa na, pero iba yung values nila. So, ang una, 5 squared, S squared over 4 times, ano yung G nito? 4? Okay. Plus, yung pangalawang diagonal natin, which is ito, that is actually, ano yan, 4 squared over, uh, Ay, mali. Hindi pala 4. 3 pala. 3 squared over 4 times G. Okay. So, ang G niya is actually 4 man lang din. So, walang problema. Now, uh, pakaisipin nyo no, na uh, ito lang yung isusolve natin. So, equals yan. 7 point, ano yan? 7.188. Now, be careful. Bakit? Now, yes. Tama ka. Ito yung uh, net area niyan. But, we cannot compare this net area dito sa areas dito. Na bakit sir? Na actually, uh, dito, okay, ang force na nag-cause ng rupture na to is actually yung full tensile force. Dito actually, hindi yan full tensile force. Bakit? Kasi itong isang bolt, nag-carry na yan ng load. Na ano ibig sabihin ko nito? Uh, tingnan natin dito ha. Uh, dyan o. Oh. Ito. Halimbawa, ito yung, uh, halimbawa, ito yung uh, rupture natin. Okay? Now, ang rupture nito is actually, wala problema, you can actually easily solve the net area nito. But, we cannot compare this net area doon sa, uh, dito ba, yung isa dito. Bakit? Kasi, yung tensile force na nag-cause ng rupture na to is actually lesser than the original tensile force. Halimbawa, ang tensile force dito is, 
uh, sabihin natin na 100, okay? So, actually, uh, yung 100 na yan, actually, mas lumiit na yan dahil itong dalawang bolt na to, okay, nag-carry na yan ng tensile force. Uh, ilang bolts ba to? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Okay, so, this, since this is 11 bolts, now, assuming that the load, okay, is carried uh, equally sa mga bolts, so, meaning, ang loads na nag- uh, ang load na nag-cause ng rupture na to is actually 2 over 11 less okay, than the original load. Kasi meron kang 2 volts out of 11. Okay, so meaning, ang load na nag-cause ng rupture na to is actually just 9 over 11 of the full load. Okay, so ang gagawin natin is we need to multiply this net area. Okay, so dito, okay, so meaning, one, this is 11, di ba? So dito, meron ng 1 over 11 of the load na nakari ng volt na to. Meaning, ang nag ng rupture dito is actually 10 over 11 lang. Now, we cannot compare this area dito sa iba kasi 11 over 11 yung load nito. So, ang gagawin natin is we need to multiply this. Okay? I-multiply natin yan by a factor para maging full load na. So, since this is actually equal to 10 over 11, we just need to multiply 11 over 10 para maging full load na ito. Okay? So, ito na yung net area for this gross section. So, ano yung net area niya? 7.906. Oh, ganun lang. Okay. Similar din dito. I think alam nyo na yung gagawin natin. Uh, Copy-paste muna tayo. Yan. AN, uh, same pa din. Tatlo yung dinaanan. But this time, okay. Yung S squared over 4G natin is actually ito. S squared. So, 3. Tsaka 4. So, uh, 3 squared over 4 times 4. Now, factor natin, uh, ano yung load nito? Ang load na nag ng rupture is actually uh, 2 over 11 less. So, that is 9 over 11. So, multiply that by 11 over 9. Okay, para ma-compare natin sa kanina. Okay, kasi full kasi sila. So, that is 7.591. Yan lang. Okay, so we can actually compare this sa ibang area. Okay. So, proceed tayo dito sa isa. Okay. Na ito, medyo madali lang to. So, area net is equal to, same pa din, 5 over 8 times 12 minus, ilang volts ang dinaanan? Dalawa lang. So, that is uh, 2 times 0 0.875. Uh, tapos, plus, ilang diagonals? Isa lang. So, S squared over 4G, that's 5 squared over 4 times, uh, saan yun? G. Ano yun? Saan yung G natin? Uh, that's 4 din. Okay, but again, same pa din. This rupture is caused by the full load minus 1 volt or 1 over 11 of the force. So meaning this is 10 over 11. So 11 over 10. Okay, ganun lang. So meaning this is 8.0. Oh, sorry, 8.01. Okay, so uh, yun na. Now we can compare the following areas. Now, pili natin yung pinakamaliit. So it 0.121 uh, Sana yun? Uh, 7.591 6. I think ito yung pinakamaliit, no? 6.406 Okay Okay, so, yun lang um, 6.406 So, F sub U, 58 AE is Ano yun? Uh, area net natin, that's 0. 0.604 Again, ang factor Yung U natin is actually just 1 So, solve na natin Okay, so that is actually 371.548. Copy na natin dito. Okay. Ayan na. So, I hope naiintindihan ninyo ha, yung applications, okay, ng staggered fasteners. Pag uh, meron tayong staggered fasteners, uh, we need to add S squared over 4G. Okay, so yun lang guys, napakadali, okay, nagbago lang sa S squared over 4G. Now, again, uh, wag nyo kalimutan yung concept na to, ha? Okay? Now, before kayo mag-compare sa mga area net, make sure na yung load na nag ng rupture is actually full load, okay? Kagaya nito, hindi yan full load, so you need to multiply that by a factor, okay? Increasing the area net, okay? Para full load yung ikakari niya. So, yun lang, guys. So, I hope uh, may natutunan kayo. And then, stay tuned para sa next natin na video, which is yung block shear, Okay? I mean, block shear. Tama-tama, block shear lang. Sige-sige, uh, maraming salamat and then see you sa next uh, video.
ground.